Welcome back to 20 Clinical Pearls in 20 Days, where today we're going to talk about why you must interpret transferrin saturation with caution. Now, first of all, transferrin is a hepatically synthesized protein. It binds onto iron and transport it around the body. Uh, transferrin saturation, therefore, is how saturated the transferrin proteins are with iron. It's a pretty easy calculation. Uh, you can divide the serum iron divided by TIBC, multiply times 100, and that gives you the transferrin saturation as a percentage. Now, ranges will vary depending on the study that you look at, but about 20 to 50% is considered to be normal. In women, it's suggested that 45 might be the upper end. Now, a few days ago, I did on day three, I said, know your blood chemistry markers, and that's because iron bounces around a ton. It's called the inter-individual coefficient variant. And compared to sodium, for example, iron moves around a lot. Here's a perfect example of why we need to interpret transferrin saturation with caution. So here was somebody on August 23rd, and here's their uh, iron panel. You see the uh, TIBC was uh, 323, serum iron was 149. Now that has a transferrin saturation of 46. If this was a woman, and it was, that's on the upper end, if not elevated, depending on the range that you look at. But literally three days later, on the 26th, serum iron for, uh, 84, TIBC is 348, with a total transferrin saturation percentage of only 26. Totally normal. Now here's the problem with this. In the functional and nutritional medicine industry, you have people that are teaching blood chemistry interpretation and they don't teach stuff like this. They don't teach the intra-individual coefficient variant and how much iron may move around, which is a problem because transferrin saturation is a calculation based off of serum iron. Well, if serum iron isn't very accurate, then we really need to be careful with this too. And you can see that in a matter of three days, transferrin saturation changed drastically in the same patient under the same conditions. And the problem with this is, and now you get these sort of uninitiated people who are looking at a blood chemistry and they see a high transferrin saturation and they immediately think someone has iron overload because they weren't actually taught how to interpret this. That's why we need to interpret this with caution and is why here at Metabolic Fitness Pro, we have spent so much time trying to actually teach the truth, evidence-based medicine in an otherwise confusing and overwhelming functional and nutritional medicine industry. Please head over to metabolicfitnesspro.com, check out our advanced mentorship program, check out our blood chemistry training, let us know where you found us, book a call, chat with us. We look forward to seeing you there and God bless.